hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm bb if it's your first time here please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and you're most definitely welcome um today's video is actually my most requested video and it's my skincare routine so i'll be showing you guys my daily routine weekly routine together with um a story time actually i'm going to be telling you guys how um i pull through my acne journey and all of that so before starting i'm first of all going to give us an overview of what acne is acne is a long time skin disease and then it, it occurs when um, the hair follicles is clogged by dead skin cells and oil from the skin. And this is when we see that we are having pimples on our face, um, black heads, white heads, oily skin in some cases, and then scarring. And it, it usually occurs on the face, on our chest, um, back, and then even on our shoulders in some cases. So the appearance of this acne has actually caused people um, anxiety. Some of us reduce self-esteem, you know, and in worst cases, we have depression and also suicidal thoughts. Anyways, don't let me bore you guys with what acne is or what acne isn't. I'm just going to, you know, start. My face is wet. I'm sure you guys can see it. So the first thing I usually do is to use the face cleanser on my face. I do it every morning and night, you guys. So the first, um, the cleanser I'll be using is Cetaphil cleanser, actually. And I'm just going to apply it. All over my face my wet face I wet my face with warm water already um this cleanser actually gives me a very soothing feeling when I'm applying it and then it cleanses my 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 pores so well so and then it's so free actually it's not for me or and all of that so I just put it on my my palm and then I begin to massage it right into my skin so you guys, um, I still having acne when I was in secondary school, say at the age of 10, 11. Yeah, around just time, or rather around that time. But I didn't think it was a big deal. I didn't even know it was acne or anything of sort. Because I went, I attended, I attended a boarding house. So, you know, we were working in the different gutter worker, you know, um, toilet worker and all of that. So I just felt it was the... Um, boarding house school issues and I was just allergic and moreover I wasn't the only one having all sorts so it was normal to me and it wasn't a big deal I went to another girls school it continued till I got into the university and it was much more worse you guys it was so much worse that um, um, we had to go to the hospital and then um, a dermatologist we saw a dermatologist and um, that was when I was diagnosed of acne inflammatory disorder you guys, I don't have it only on my face. I have it on my chest, my 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 back, my shoulder. You know, it was all over. But then the face was worse, right? Every other place, nobody would see it, but just the face. I said I'm just massaging it into my skin, and it's it's really it feels so good to be honest. So I'm just going to you know go ahead and rinse it with um, warm water. Now I'll be right back. So I've gone ahead to rinse my face so the next thing I'll be applying is the Queen Helen's um, Queen Helen's mint julep face mask you guys this mask is the real deal it unbelievably absorbs excess oil from your skin it reduces your pores you know and then it also fixes um, blemishes and then even out your complexion it's it to be honest I it has really really worked for me and as you guys can see I've used more than half of it yeah so I'm just going to apply it on my face all over my face with my finger it's green by the way the doctor diagnosed me of skin inflammatory disorder he told me he didn't have a cure but he had treatments and he was going to give me things he said I would have to grow it down until I grow older then I would feel better so he, he didn't give me stuff and to be honest it cleared and it felt so good but then they came back like full force and that was when I knew that man this isn't for me like the attention was crazy people would see you they wouldn't even understand or they wouldn't even care if you're going through like how you're handling it like do I want to have this on my face obviously no but then they would just say nasty things and all of that so 
I had to look for a solution. You see me going online and looking for ways to, um, you know, um, cover up acne and all of that. And then that was when makeup came into place. I saw that makeup would help you cover up all of your imperfections perfectly. Instead of watching YouTube videos, learning how to do makeup, you know, I would make myself up, I would beat my face to stupor. Like four years, I would not go out without makeup. I would go to school. If I have seven o'clock lectures, you guys, I wake up 5 a.m. I will wake up 5 a.m. or 4 30 to beat my face and go to class. Like it was that crazy. And then I'll get compliments. Oh, you look so good, or oh, you look so beautiful. Oh, it did feel good. I'm like, yeah, thank you, thank you. You know. Deep down, I didn't like it. I didn't like the fact that I'll come back home and then when I wash the face, I'm sad. I'm unhappy. I wasn't confident at all. I wasn't confident when it comes to my skin. So I would never go out. You will never see me going out with my skin, my face bare. I will beat my face and I did enjoy the act and art of makeup, yes. But then in the beginning it was just to cover up all of my imperfections. So it went on for four years like that and at some point I'll feel like oh I don't want this. I wasn't treating it anymore to be honest. I'll just you know someone tells me oh there's this part mobile cream, I'll buy it. It will not work, I'll say hey, there's makeup, I'll use makeup. That was what I was doing, but then we were going to graduate and I'm like I, I want I needed my narrative to change. I needed I didn't want to continue this way. I didn't want to be the girl that is wearing makeup just because she can't go out with her skin. She isn't confident with her skin. It was it was sad. I would cry most times, to be honest. I would cry and think that why, why, why should I be the one? You know, my siblings don't have any of this. Why is it me? And all of that. So, um, I knew I needed my narrative to change. For how? I did not know. But I knew I wanted it to change. So, I was going for service. And then I was posted and I was going to start work. And I, I, I made up my mind that I wasn't going to, you know, I wasn't going to go to work first day of work with makeup and then I would see the reaction of the people in my office you guys I didn't wear makeup to work and the thing is but to be very honest with you guys um in some cases it was not every time people had something to say about my face and how bad it was looking yes but then because um, I was very much self-conscious like if I see someone looking at me I just feel like oh it's my face the person is looking at you know I had insecurities basically because of my skin yes so that's what I was trying to say so when I went to my office I felt like um, they were going to you know say what happened to your face and all of that but lo and behold did he even notice nobody said nothing I'm like are these people even humans at all like really and that was when I knew that yes my narrative was going to change because I'm there from like 8 to 5 30 and then I'm going back home and home is family most of the time I was supposed to work without makeup to be honest and it did feel good like like nobody noticed nobody you know and all of that so now that I'm done applying it I'm just going to let it dry then I will um, rinse it off after I began to you know get my confidence back a little bit I also made up my mind that I was going to change my lifestyle like I was going to put in more effort I was going to start treating acne again so I saw a new dermatologist and he said that it does have a cure like what what do they mean it doesn't have a cure that like it does have a cure and all of that so he gave me drugs he gave me um face wash creams and all of that and then i started using it and i was seeing results yes but then i also knew that i needed to do something on my own i wasn't just going to depend only on the dermatologist i wasn't going to depend solely on him so i needed to you know do my research look for what works and all of that i did a lot of try and error you guys i got products that i reacted to you know i didn't give up i did them i searched for them i did them religiously you know and these ones that are working for me i made up my mind that i'm not going to let them go anytime soon except i find um you know something better i'm obviously open to suggestions of oh have you tried this or you should try this and all of that I've gone ahead to rinse, um, rinse off the mask and with warm water, of course. And then the next thing I'll be applying is um, Queen Helen Mint Julep um, Natural Face Scrub. It's the same brand as the uh, mask, and I'm just going to, you know, 
um, apply it all over my face it deep cleanses your face and then it gives you um, this mint glow radiant mint glow and it also clears um, it also clears dead dry skin um, dry cells from the surface of your face so I'm just going to use my my finger to apply it my face and I'm just going to you know exfoliate it it's it clears impurities from your face as well I began to use all of the things um, I got from my doctor and then the things I researched my products and all of that and then that was when I knew that um, I did them religiously you guys I wasn't even missing nothing mornings night even if I'm tired I, I don't even wear makeup out to be very honest but then I will still do my um my skincare routine well i'll take it very serious and then before you know it you guys um my skin began to feel better my spots began to clear not only that i began to glow <laughs> i began to glow you guys <laughs> it feels good saying this now because i'm most confident in my skin now Actually, even if my skin didn't feel this way, I had already gotten to a, um, a point that even with the bad skin, I was already dealing with it. Like, I didn't mind going out. Although, earlier, then, if you tell me your skin is bad, I'll give it to you. Eh? <laughs> my mouth, I will give it to you. But deep down, I am pained. But then I'm not going to show you that what you said hurts me. I start getting compliments like, ah, your, your, skin, so, your, your, your skin looks so good. What are you using? I'm like me. <laughs> yeah. So um, it made me really, really happy and thankful. So you guys can see I'm just massaging it and it's exfoliating my skin. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this till it dries up. Um, it's going to get dried and then you would be able to, you know, like you feel the particles dropping off your your hands. So I've gone ahead to rinse off um, the scrub as well with warm water. So the next thing I'll be using now is um, this um, it's a black soap. It's called Lola Gummy Soap. This particular one is called Lola Gummy Soap. Though she has rebranded and she's now, um, the product is now called Coco Skin Care Pony Black Soap, I think. And I'm definitely going to be restocking once this one is finished. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to apply it on my wet face with my fingers we all know everything as we all know history about black soap african black soap Nigerian black soap and how it is made with the you know the most natural things content and all of that